Right, hello everybody. Well, here I am, back in Holt Whistle. As you can see from the earlier clip, I was at my pitch where I went the last time. I've changed my mind. I've come down here. There's loads of um, bits of dead fallen trees and that down here. And I'm gonna be doing a different type of setup. But one of the reasons why I've moved further down for is there's loads of coughs up the top end where I camped the last time. Um, and because I've got the two dogs here, I don't want them spooking the calves and spooking the cows and getting the cows to come and chin me. So, and there's loads of cow pats everywhere as well. And the, and the dogs, you know what they like, they like rolling in them. So they've already had a couple of rolls already, so they'll be going for a swim in the river later. I've got them lashed up at the minute. I'm under strict orders off the wife. So, he won, is it only me should it be? <laughs> Or something like that, I can't remember the proper saying. The dogs have spilt the water already. Oh dear. Well, I've got some uh, drinking water from home, two litres, and for me cooking. The river's looking a canny murky the day, like. So, I've got my soya filter. Um, I'll just see how it goes. Obviously, the clouds are looking a bit doom and gloom, but I'm not really bothered. Right, I'm starting to waffle. So, what I'm going to do this time is because I've found a reasonably flat bit of area um, I'm going to pitch up my freebie free top as a tent and I'm ground dwelling in there the night so I'm going to be doing it on this little bit of land where I am now and my view is going to be that it's going to be my view from outside of it and then ideal area for us is I've got a little slope down over then I've got this little sand pit here so I'm going to dig a, dig a hole in there and I'm going to have my fire I might make it a quarter fire pit I might not but I can either sit on my seat or I can just get one of my little, my little game magic carpet out and just lie back on the bank there all right, and I've got a nice metal pole there, which is going to come in handy because that's going to be to secure the dogs while I'm busy so they don't run away. All right, as you can see, there's loads of, loads of dead trees and that around, so happy days. Right then, let's stop waffling and let's get cracking. Catch us in a bit. I think Mitzi's getting impatient, aren't you? Yeah, Taz being busy. Yeah, I've been that busy I forgot to get my camera out. Right, I've got a few things lying around so let's excuse a bit of a mess. Right, I've got my set of tents set up with my top. I tried the one when you fold it up at the front but I just didn't like it so it's nice and warm in any way. I've got loads of room in there. It's well pegged out. Mitty shush. Mitty's a bit of a barker by the way, if you just don't know already know her. Alright, so that's my configuration there. I'm just about to get the dog some food and some more water because I spilled the water. Alright, so all I'm doing is I've just got a Terranova tarp on the bottom of my ground sheet because I never use it anymore. Um, I've got my sleeping bag that was made by my sister in law. Alright, and as you can hear, Betty's starting to play with Missy. I'll just pause you and bring this back and show you how I've got it. So, I've got my OEX um, inflatable mat underneath. And it goes in between the two two sleeping bags, so I've got a sleeping bag above the um, the blow up bed. All right, and I'm going to be toasting because I'm absolutely sweating sitting in here now. It's very very close. Um, 
I've got a mozzie net there, OEX mozzie net, just in case the mozzies get a bit too bad later on, but so far, fingers crossed that I haven't been getting bit that much. The girls are getting very un uncomfortable being tied up, what a pity, yeah. So that's me set up. All right, I've just done me set a little fire pit, found some nice rocks. I'm not gonna go all extravagant because it's just gonna be a little fire in any way. All right, so I'll be sitting here in front of me fire, looking at that. How sweet. And there's the bridge just there, look. Hot whistle viaduct. So I'm not that far away from the public, but I'm allowed to camp on this area in any way, so happy days. I've checked the big trees out, there's nothing dangerous on any of them, so happy days with that. Um, and on these ones, so I'll get all the rest of my stuff in. Right, like I said earlier, I think the water's a bit murky, so we'll see how the soya filter does later on if I run out of water. Um, Same again, trying not to swear on my videos. Um, I brought two cans of lager with us and a small hip flask. I, I'll probably not even drink them to be honest. I might have the two cans, I might have a little sip of the hip flask but that's about it. I'm not out to get drunk anymore, I'm out to enjoy myself and sit and relax and just listen to nature and all the animals in it. Alright, apart from that one there, Mitzi. She just wants to be up on my knee, she's soft as cloths, getting out though. But anyway, I'm going to take the dogs off, get them some water, get myself some water and then I'll prep some wood for later on and then I'll think about dinner because it's five to one. The dogs have got chicken. I've got, I'll take you over and show you what I've got the dogs for the, for the dinner. One of the lads, Gary from uh, Camp Bob, couldn't believe it when I pulled out a packet of this for the dogs, but they get one of these every day. I'll just pause you and bring you back. Look at them jumping all hours because I've got the, the chicken out. It's a um, pack of chicken from Asda. Nice big pack. £4.50 a day. Spite rotten these two. Yeah, uh, spite bloody rotten. Pear years. What have I got? Pasta and a pre-cooked sausage. <laughs> and some noodles as well. So, and anyway, I'm getting tangled up off the dogs. So, um. I'm going to call it a day for now, and I'll see you in a bit. Go, it's Mitzi's bowl, Betty's bowl. Look at them, they're eager to go. Let's see which one goes to what. I'm just going to hide them because they're both practically the same in any rate. Come here. You're getting yourself out of time. Look, oi, oi. Go on. Look at that. You'd think they'd never been fed. Look at them. Betty's done. It's not a race, you know, girls. Eh. Little tinkers. Right, I'm going to get tied up. Hey, hey, don't you go reading that bit. I'm going to keep that bit for you for later. So I've still got about half the packet there, and anyway, I'll give them that a little bit later on with some proper dog food and that. And Betty's trying to go next to it. She's going to get a smack nose. No. Right, all right, so happy days, back out again. I'm uh, <coughs> You're gonna get a smack on the nose as well if you go near that chicken, little bugger. Three little mates. All right, so happy days, back out again. Hope I haven't swore there now, because I can't remember if I did or not. Mitzi's having a little sniffer room, she'll be looking for somewhere comfy to lie down. She'll be in my dust bag, they need her. Hi, but it's lovely down here. I've seen two people so far, and they're just dog walkers. So, sweet. <laughs> I've been watching this lad, Dean, I can't remember his name now. Uh, JC something, he's Carl. Um, he's been building a shelter. Um, I think he's Carl John. Um, Cracking like, but he, he says sweet all the time. <laughs> if you're watching this, mate, Cracking videos, loving your build. Wish I could do that again. Like it, it's um, it, 
it gives you a, a, a great f satisfaction when you get it sorted like each com each component that you make of your shelter and um, when I done mine at Brockwell it was uh, amazing like I loved it but unfortunately that that scenario ended but I've moved on and I'm enjoying myself being out and about in different areas plus I've also got my band of brothers at Camp Bob which is absolutely brilliant uh, we've got another meet coming up on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of November and that's going to be great I think I think what was it up to there was about 40 odd uh, names I'm just going to look check where the dogs are oh they're just down the bottom um, 40 odd names on the list already and we've only just advertised it so happy days it's going to be a cracker and it's going to be adults only as well no children no dogs uh, so unfortunately Betty won't be coming down but I'll be too busy in any way uh, getting involved with the things that all the members have got to do when we're down there making sure everybody's settled got pictures sorted properly people have got their like everything basically we've got all sorts going on right I'm gonna waffle now and um, it's gonna be basically the same as the other one without kids all right so I'm gonna get some wood and I'll catch us in a bit right well we've just had a tiny little shower I was no major like um, but it's getting dead dead warm again and the midges are starting to come out in force obviously the closer to water you are the more you're gonna get so I've got some of this jungle formula stuff all right, so you can see it. Yeah, I'm just gonna spray some of this on because I'm starting to get an itchy heat. All right, so it's just a case of spraying it on yourself, really. And that'll keep the buggers off. Is that a swear word? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me look that one up, but if it is, that's my first swear. Aye, so I'm all set up, ready to go. So uh, I don't know if I've just showed you this before, but I'll turn you around and let you have a look. Uh, there's a few people walking by, like, but now to be concerned about. So I've got my rubbish bag out because I've just be, uh, been giving the dogs the rest of the chicken and some dry food. So, and I've had to tie them back up again because they keep running up there and the cattle's right up there. I didn't want them going chasing uh, cows. So I, there's loads of, sorry I'm spinning the camera all over the place. There's loads of dead wood all the way over there. You've seen us chopping it before. I've got enough wood here I think. Um, I'll not be getting a fire until late, later on. Uh, it starts getting a little bit darker and I'll make something to eat by then. But I'm just going to... Um, Get me, oh, what do you call it? Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Me Pathfinder kit out, and I'm just going to make me sell a brew because, like I said earlier, as you can see, it's an absolute tip in there. Because of the mozzies as well, I'm going to put that net up, see if I can work out how to do that somehow. Um, fingers crossed, like, but never mind. Right, so I'm going to get a brew on, and I'm just I'm not here to do, do any graft or walk around or jump around like a lunatic. I'm just going to sit and chill out, try and get my radio tuned in, listen to some music. I was going to bring a book and all. I wish I had a brought one. I've got a uh, food for free book in the uh, first aid pouch, so I'll sit and have a read through that because I've brought my glasses with us in case I can't read something because I'm blind as a bat. So, but yeah, got a lush little view across the river. I wanted to go across the other side but it just it's too overgrown in that and there's one bit that's right up the top end uh, about a couple of hundred meters further away from where I was the last time but it looks like it could be part of the farmland like it looks like it's manic manicured a bit so I didn't want to really do that and this seems to be a quiet enough place you, you get your walkers come past like I was here the last time I had people walking past me but he was no bother you know um, it's, it's warm though. <laughs> it's bloody nice and warm. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill out. Right, I'm gonna get a brew on, some waffling. But 
I've been told I shouldn't keep, keep saying that. So, catch us in a bit. Right, hello everybody. Just while I'm uh, sitting making a brew, I thought I'd bring you along. Uh, Alright, that's still gone. That's the thing about these um, fuel burners, you can't really see the flames that well. Oh, tell you what, like, it's working a dream like. I've had it on about a minute. Um, looks like it's been alright. I'm well impressed with it. So, in any way, Pathfinder kit. Bo last bought us it for Christmas. Um, comes with a bottle in that. I've used it a couple of times. Not much though. Um, yeah, I really enjoy I really enjoy, like having it now. Um, on the main pocket, all I carry is like me washing stuff, a few snacks, some nuts, cereal bar, uh, some mixed fruit, a, a few three and one cups of tea, some chung gums, and a couple of boil sweets. If, you, if you're feeling a little bit knackered when you're away and you're walking around and all that, just get yourself a boil sweet, chew on it. When you're chewing on it, have a little sips of water. It's just like having a bit of an energy drink, hence why we have them in ration packs. All right, they're just an energy booster for the lads and glasses there is, because there is glasses in the army as well. These are all out the ration packs, just little bits and pieces I put in. So I'll be eating these later on. Um, for the time being, I'm going to have a, a little bit of a bag of crisps that I've brought from home that just needs to be ate. And I've got a little rip off Mars bar from, is it Aldi or Little? One of the two. Anyway, it saves me money buying them anyway. Um, obviously, I always have a carabiner on top on everything. Um, in here, I've got like a glow stick and a straw. It's not for drinking out of, it's for me fire later on. Get down at the embers. And then here I've just got like an eating knife. I normally have my spork in here as well. I do carry lighters. And I do like using my uh, ferro rod and striker. But I also carry lighters because sometimes it's just as easy. Um, and obviously that's my cup of tea that I'm getting prepped ready. And also in there I have a thermo flask cup. All right. Um, I've always used these, they're absolutely brilliant. Because um, if you didn't fancy drinking a full brew, you just leave the lid, lid on and then you can go back with half an hour later and it's still piping hot. Alright, so that's basically all I carry in there. And as you can see, I've got the lid, the cup, and the, uh, the stove, and the meths burner, and the windbreak. Not that I need it, it's, nowadays I can't even feel a breeze. So, I'm just making a brew at the minute. I don't know if that gets hot. Nah, but my water's starting to bubble a little bit there. So that's happy days. I've got some visitors coming down in the minute by the looks of it. There'll be 20 cows making their way down. <laughs> so I've had to put the dogs tied up again. Um, yeah. Just a make sure they're safe. You don't want the cows getting chased by the dogs and then the cows chasing them and hurting them. Oh. But this is it man. Living the dream. Gonna have a nice fire tonight. I might take one of me air. Uh, little ground sheets and just chill out on this bank bitch here and lie back and enjoy the view listen to the sounds of the river oh, I'll get this brew and I'll take the, take the dogs down a little bit for a bit of a walk down that way not too far like I don't want to leave on my kid not that, not that I get touched I don't think but I can see the, the girls are all tied up that pool's come well in handy happy days 
I've got my rubbish bag tied up on the tree over there just so the, all the rubbish is out the way as you know the score leave no trace hence why even though it's a mess burner I've still pulled up all the moss and bits of grass and that so if I'm burning on there the ground gets scorched I can just cover it over and hence why I've used that sand pit bit down there and all I'll do is uh, I think I'll just make an upside down fire later on and just see how that goes oh. Right, lovely. I suppose if I had brought me hammock, I could have set me hammock up in them trees there. Look at Mitzi. She hates being tied up, you know. I don't think she can reach that water as well. I can move that. That's a map, pet. Stay. Let's put this water a bit closer. Do you want to drink, pet? Eh? Yeah. You reached your food, all right. You must be wrapped, aye, because you've been round the post, haven't you, you plonker? <laughs> uh, that's my little hot water bottle there. Mitzi, she'll be keeping me lush and warm the neat, and Betty will be lying alongside of us. So, she'll have my jacket and that to lie on the night, because I forgot to bring her bed from Camp Bob. Oh, but, as you can see, the cows are moving in. Well, they've come a lot further down than what they normally do. Well, the last time I was here. Oh, I think they'll sense. It looks like a couple of them are lying down, like so. It looks like they're getting ready to settle. Oh, but yeah, you can see there's loads of dead, dead, uh, dead wood lying around everywhere. There's still an abundance here. Oh, I've got plenty, plenty of fuel for the fire. And there's loads of stuff. Sorry, I'm just spinning around a bit too hard. There's a few washed up trees as well. Um, there's one just, just in there. Um, I've got loads of little bits and pieces of it just to get the fire started. And there's loads of dry, dry bits on this. It's still alive, but there's some dry bits on it. So, happy days. Obviously, there must have been a bit of a flood since the last time I was here and I've got a nice big branch sitting there as well I'm going to make a pot hanger um, Oh that's scary, that's a bit close Hang on, oh that's even closer Right, I am going to make a pot hanger um, for later on when I'm cooking me pasta and that so I forgot to bring a grill with us just turn it around that way so we'll get a bit more light and the view's better as well, isn't it? Yeah, so forgot to bring me grill with us. So, not that I need it, like, to be honest. All I've got is the uh, pre cooked sausage and some pasta for later on. Um, and I've got noodles for supper if I want them and enough to get us through tomorrow afternoon. The dogs have got tons of food as per normal, probably got more food than me. Um, I'm just enjoying the chill. Oh, that's me kettle boiling. Well, me pot. So, there you go. Didn't take long at all, that like. Cup of water. Happy days. Oh, yeah, bugger. <laughs> Can't believe that. Just put my finger on the handles. Right, I'm going to go and catch you in a bit. <laughs> well. That's me and the girls inside the shelter now because <laughs> the heavens have just opened up. Oh, no point in sitting outside getting soaked. It's nice to have a, um, an enclosed shelter, but I wish I had a went for me lean to one. Oh. But at least I know one thing. The dogs aren't going to disappear on us. I've just had me GoPro on, on my chest harness. I don't know how people can record with that, like that. I was leaning over and the next thing you could see was me privates. <laughs> I don't know, that's just something I'm going to have to get used to, I suppose. Um, it will come in handy, like. 
I've just been making a pot hanger there for the um, for the fire tonight. Oh, fingers crossed. Well, those little hornets flying around in here. Um, fingers crossed. This rain's not going to be on for long. I've got plenty of stuff I can make in here. Like I'm, I'm here just to chill out in any way. So as you can hear, Betty's getting herself nice and comfy there. Look at you, darling. Uh, Mitzi's starting to clean up holes and that. Fucking oh, I just swore. Bloody hell. <laughs> That's gonna go course. I'm gonna get some baby wipes out in a minute and clean her like she she's been rolling in all the sheep's poo like Betty had a little go earlier and then fought twice about it. Uh, here yeah, the rain's coming heavier now. But if it ain't raining, it ain't training. <laughs> but I tell you what though, I'm only in a tea, I'm absolutely boiling. Having a shelter like this, north retains the heat. So, even if I don't get a fire tonight, I'm not really bothered. I can just cook on me um, fuel burner in here. I've got enough fuel and I'm just gonna lie and chill out. I've been trying to get my radio tuned in. Um, it didn't work and I wish I brought my other one. My other one worked up here. But there's no point in take two of everything, is there, when you're going somewhere. So I'll know for the next time though. It works everywhere else. I think it's just because we're in a bit of a valley here. Um, might not be picking up the signal well. I've tried all the different channels like. But, right, I'm sort of going to waffle mode. But never mind. I'm nice and dry and warm. And it's uh, getting wet out of the side. So, but at least I've got that to look at. You know what I mean? Happy days. It can rain as much as it wants. I hope it stops for later on the night, like, it'd be nice to sit in front of the fire. Well, I've got my jacket and that where is. I've got the dogs' as jackets because I thought it was going to rain in any way. Um, and I've got me decent trousers on any way that are waxed things, so... But I... Happy days. Right. I'll update you is. Well, if there's any changes, I'm going to finish off my cup of tea. See us in a bit. Be hey, well. This is the life. I'm nearly falling asleep here. Ooh, pardon me. I've just finished off a cup of tea that I've just had there. And I'm be munching on some crisps. Oh, I've got a pain in my back there. Because I'm sitting all twisted. Right. I've come to the conclusion that, um I love just chilling out. <laughs> I'm just lying here inside me crash, and inside me crash, inside me uh, me basher. Well, me top, me tent top. The only problem is I can only see out the front of us. I can't see at the sides. I, I think I prefer having a lean to. Um, just kind of see what's coming from your sides, can you? Oh. Not that I'm worried about anything like. No, I mean. Oh, but it is nice to have a good view. I've got a nice view. You know what I mean? I'm lying here looking out at that, listening to the river. You know what I mean? So, happy days. Mitty's lying down there, getting some sleep. Betty's as normal, right next to me. Trying to get some sleep. So we're all nice and chilled out. Sorry I've got an itchy nose. Aye. This is um this is what they must mean by coming away camping and just relaxing. Because all I seem to do is go away and graft. I've got loads of wood there. The reason I came inside for it to lie down is because it's it we started getting some heavy showers. I think I mentioned this before but I'm not hundred percent sure. But um yeah. I'm quite enjoying it. I am. Um, I have been mucking around my phone a little bit. I've switched it off. Um, just getting 
some messengers through, so and I've texted the wife because she's been away up to Carlisle work in the day. So I think she's on her way home or back home now. So hence why I've got both dogs. Otherwise, well, no, I wanted to bring both dogs because Mitty used to come camping with us ages ago when I first started, and she loves it. She's like, she's yappy like, but that's what it's, uh, what you call small dog syndrome. I think I've mentioned that happening a few times, so I'm going to stop talking about that because I'm putting her down on her. Not literally putting her down, I mean, like, I'm, you know, giving her a bad rep. <laughs> She'll be getting a complex. <laughs> She's probably lying there thinking, listen to that fat beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you see, I'm getting good on her. Because once upon a time, I would have said, I never said it. I didn't even word it. I'm not saying it anymore. I'm quite enjoying not swearing. Makes it sound normal. But I just lying here chilling. I tell you what, my eyes feel so heavy. I think I could easily go for a, an afternoon kip. kip. What time does it do? Nearly 25 past four. <sighs> I suppose I know I wouldn't hurt, would it? I've been up since half three this morning. I was um, on my first night off work. Plus when I knew I was coming away as well. As soon as I got up this morning, I was like, oh, get in. I'm away camping the day. So as soon as I dropped all that off, went home, done a few bits and pieces at the house. And then a 45 minute drive to get here. Holt whistle from Newcastle. Oh, not too bad. Um, yeah. Just living the dream, and so are these two. For the for all that chicken and some dry food. Oh, I'd say I'm happy. And uh, I'll be munching and I'm having a cup of tea. I think I might make another cup of tea. Quite enjoying this, just lying, relaxing, and watching, watching that and drinking cups of tea. See you later. Right, hello everybody. It's now half past six at night. I've already boiled one pan, well, one cup of hot water and I've put it into here. Um, I've just, I'll show you in a minute what I've done. Um, I'm gonna take this up the top and I'm gonna leave the lid off it so it cools down. Because uh, this is going to be drinking water later on. Alright, as you can see I've got my rubbish bag next to me shelter now. Just need to find somewhere where it's not going to get knocked over. Or fall over. So there you go. Cup of hot water. It looks a bit dirty because I never washed it out after having my cup of tea. So that's not a problem. But I'll just show you now. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll bring this back in a second, I'll just get my stand set up. Right, so, as you know, I've got a soya filter, alright. I've been filling these bottles up with the water from the river, which you can see behind us is quite dirty. Alright, I'll just stand back a bit so you can see us. Um, I've had a taste of it out here, and it tastes alright. Now, these are supposed to purify the water as best they can, get rid of lots of bacteria and bits and pieces of things that give you diseases but I've room boiled that one the first lot for about five five to ten minutes all right so now what I'm doing is I've only filled a uh, quarter of the way up and I'm gonna let that boil again and that's gonna be for me to add me pasta and me sausage into for me tea all right and then what I'll do is I'll boil another one up and I'll let that cool down in the actual pot. I've got my flask cup full of water that I've boiled and went through the soya filter. But I'm just gonna show you, you know. Um, let's put my kit to the test. It's dirty rainwater that's went in the river. The last time I was here, it was very, very clean, clear water. I was drinking it, I had no bother. So all it is, it's all the rubbish, all the muck coming down off the banks and down off the mountains through the river. That's all it is. Um, I've got full confidence in my soya filter. So here we're gone. 
Can I, can, can I get the poops to eat? <laughs> Oop, it's coming out already, look. It doesn't seem to be wanting to come out, that. It tastes alright. was before. I don't know about it blocking it. We're in the right force of this, aren't I? Anyway, let's see what happens here. Right, that's it. Tastes drinkable. <laughs> half of it went doing me chin, I think. Well, that's half a wash fun for the day. I I'll have to um, get me syringe on this and uh, see if it's blocked a bit. All right. So, in any way, happy days. Right then, let's attempt to make a fire. So I want to prep these an upside down fire. We'll see how this goes because I don't think I've ever done one of these. Oh, let me cut them all away. Look. Hopefully that'll catch. It's just to help it on its way. Or has it gone out? Not oh, still a light. It's trying. See a bit of air. Yeah, crackling. That's a good sign. I think I found it anyway. We'll let nature take its course.
Well, it's catching. Happy days. Oh, I've got to fix that. Um, what do you call it? Swell, haven't I? Me pan hole. Oh, there. Pot holder. So I'm busy filming on the GoPro at the minute. Seeing how this um, stabilising thing guns. Are you sick yet? <laughs> ah, that's, that's caught new look. Let's see how it burns. Right, I'll bring this back in a bit. Right, I thought my fire was going to go out, so I put a bit more wood on, but I didn't realise the logs underneath were actually glowing red, so I just blew on it and it went up like a light. Right, as you can see, I'll take it down to the bottom. What I've done is, I've got my fire filter out, fill some bags up. I'll just show you how dirty this water is. All right. Now these rocks are kind of slippy and nearly fell. Right, you can see how dirty that is. All right. Now, I've put it through the soya filter. So I've got them two bags there full. All right. And that's what it's come out like. So it's still got a bit of colour to it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to boil it over my fire. All right, and leave it warm and boil, and then uh, I'll be using that water later on to cook with. If I get the shits, I haven't got far to run to the stream. <laughs> and I've just cost myself a quick because I've just swore. But anyway, if it doesn't work out and it tastes funny, then uh, I'll just have to come up with another option, which is a spare litre of water for tomorrow, that's in the car. Alright, but my fire's going lovely now. Catch us in a bit. Right, I've got my water boiling. I've had to make a few changes because it's uh, the weather's turned nasty. The dogs are sitting inside the tent on my sleeping bag. I've had to get one of the ground sheets and make myself a little shelter so I can sit in front of the fire. And I tell you what, if the wind was blowing that way, I'd be boiling. Well, I'm boiling anyway, but standing at the back of this fire now, you can see me cameras steaming up. It's that warm. Is that warm? But anyway, this is my sitting area for the night. Underneath this little shelter, had to run round like an idiot, getting some branches cut to uh, get it sorted. I've got a bit wet, but I'm sure I'll dry out. Um, I've got about five minutes to cook my food, and then it's going to be eight o'clock, and I'm doing a live feed on Northeast Bushcraft. So, if any of you are there, thanks for watching the video. Um, the rain's getting a bit heavier now. It's not dampening my spirits, so it's not cold. I've got a nice fire going. I've got plenty of logs there. I've got logs drying out in front of it. Sorry, my camera's all over. I've got logs drying out in front. So, I think that water will probably be boiling away soon. It's the water from out the river. So it'll be well and truly uh, thingied. But if you just look, you can see. I don't know, you just can't make on the bridge. It's, it's, it's starting to pee down now. So I can't see the dogs coming out their tent. Bless them there. Eh? I've got two bars left on this. Now right, they're lying down, look. I've got two bars left on my battery of this. I've went and lost my lead, so I can't charge it. That's them um, nice and snug as a bug in a rug in there, like. Alright, so.
But anyway, I'm going to get this pan off and uh, add my pasta and my sausage and then get it back on the fire and I'll probably be eating it as I'm talking to people. So I'll bring this back later on. Cheers. Canny fire like. Well, it's now 20 to 9. I've just been doing a, a live feed. Um, I, I've just been doing a live feed on Northeast Bushcraft for about half an hour. That went quite well. Um, if anybody's watching this and you're a member of Northeast Bushcraft, I've shared it with the page, so you'll be able to check on that if you missed out. I'm just busy eating my tea as well excuse me um pasta and a cooked sausage i was talking that much i forgot about it and i checked it and it was perfect timing it was just just done correctly so happy days but it's still scorching um starting to get dark now the rain's just started picking up again um turn you this way so you can see it's a bit better and um, the girls are in the tent asleep, well I see the tent, the shelter asleep on my bed so hopefully my sleeping bag's not too wet because I've got no bivvy bag or anything on it, I didn't bring one because um, I was doing a tent configuration so I knew I was going to stay nice and dry it's still warm, obviously I'm sat in front of a nice lovely fire lake um, my wood's getting a bit wet on the outer side, but because of the heat of the fire, it's just drying straight away in any rate. So happy days with that. Um, I'm getting a nice glow off the fire as well, so I don't need any lights on yet. But it's so peaceful here, like, unbelievable. I can't really get a signal on my radio, and to be quite honest, I'm not really bothered. I'm quite, I'm quite happy about that. Let's turn around the other way. I think this. Oh, Hi. Um, it's getting a bit misty in the distance. Obviously, the weather's closing in a little bit, rainy and that. But happy days. Not oh, Mitzi's looking over. She must hear us talking. Hi. So I don't know if I've already said this, but plan of actions tomorrow. Get up. Have some breakfast. If it's nice and dry, hopefully uh, get my tops dried up a little bit before I pack them away. But it's no bother because I've got a facility that I can use at home to get my tops out whether it's raining or not um, and get them dried. Um, I'm going to take all my stuff to the car, unpack it and just make a, a day sack up with me, um, with me, me, day, with me bag. And I'm going to go into Hot Whistle itself, get some fresh water. Um, I've got some more water in my bags out of the stream that just needs squeezed out and reboiled. I've got a cup of water that's been boiled and everything uh, and put through the soya. But I've got half of my um, Pathfinder flask. I've just over half of that full as well. But that's my priority with that is making sure the dogs have got water through the night because I know I better get something drinks through the night. And just in case I need a little sip of water. Um, but I'll be putting me, I'll not be making a fire in the morning because obviously I'll be packing up and leaving so I'll be wanting this fire to burn out and then I'll just get loads of water from the stream in my pot and just pour that over the fire to put it out, uh, any embers and that and then I'll just um, cover up my area, displace the rocks a bit, any bits of wood that's left I'll like put them on one side make sure it's nice and tidy um, as I always do because I, I believe that motto leave no trace carry out what you carry in you know what I mean it makes sense doesn't it yeah you're humping in some heavy kit sometimes when you bring lots of water and if you think, bring a few beers with you in or yeah other bits and pieces especially in the winter and for to leave all your rubbish there and walk back out I think it's another disgrace and you see too much of this happening lately and that's why we can't get uh, wild coming anywhere in Newcastle, in Newcastle, anywhere in England nearly. 
um, without having to be sneaky or getting permission because there is the minority of people that actually do spoil it for those people that really want to do it and do it properly to our best abilities and actually help try and preserve the land that we'll go on to you know what I mean like I know in the past I've chopped down live trees but I've been told to chop them down with the, by the owners um, but now that I haven't got a property like that to build big shelters and things I wouldn't do it obviously stuff that I know if I cut a branch off I can't remember the name of the thing I'm just going to highlight on because I feel like I can't be seen on here um, yeah um, there's certain certain stuff you can cut like this stuff that I've got here for me little poles and all that um, I know that next year because I've cut that next year there'll be two, two to three little sprouts coming from there and it'll just regenerate you know what I mean? So that's happy days. But these poles, what I'll do is I'll stash them somewhere so the next time I come they're there if I need them. Or you know what I mean? So right, I'm feeling myself going on to one uh, and proper waffle mode as well. So I'm gonna eat my food, have another drink. Like I see I've only got two cans and a little hip flask. Um I'm not gonna drink it all the night in any way, because to be quite honest, I've been up since about half three this morning and I'll be getting tired soon, so catch us in a while, all right, lads and lasses and kids who I was watching, and uh, season a bit. Right, hello everybody. I thought I'd just bring you back for a quick update. It's now picture black. <laughs> no, it's um, it's quarter ten at night. Nowadays, the only thing I can hear is running water. I've turned my radio off because it's just the signal's too bad and it's just a bad bad reception on the channel the only channel I can pick up. Um the dogs are fast asleep on my sleeping bag, bless them. Oh I've had to put it um I've got like a, a towel for them to get them dry and all that, so I've dried them off. And then I've got another towel there uh, for the morrow, but I've put that over the top of them just for now. Oh what I'll do with Betty is I'll put her, I'll put my jacket over the top of her and Mitty will get in the sleeping bag with us and that'll keep them warm through the meat. Not that it's cold, like there again I am sitting in front of a nice fire. I've just put my fleecy top on just as just before I put this uh, video on. Uh, put the camera on, sorry. Um I'm not even a quarter of the way through my second can. Um, I've had about three mouthfuls of Jack Daniels. Had me food, it was alright. Um, I'll give it a few hours and see if anything happens because of using that water. But I can't see it being a problem, me like. Or unless I have to do a mad dash for some reason. And But. Yeah, I can't see it being it been a problem. I have thought about it, right, because the, 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 the water is quite dirty. Last time of the year I was dead clean. Obviously because of all the rainfall, all the muds and all that, and the river's swelling. It is swell, like it's a lot deeper. Um, but the fire is mint. I'll just turn you around and let you have a look. I put a massive log on at the back, and what it's doing is just covering it from the rain. But the heat that's generating out of it is absolutely unbelievable. My pants were soaking before they're bone dry now. Just the top parts of my legs are a little bit damp. Um, I'm glad I had this top. Two, two tops for us for the ground. Um, I don't know if you can see inside the shelter. You can see me bin bag. No, you can't see in. But the dogs are in there and anyway, I, well I can't see it on here, I don't know if you can see it, I'll find out when I'm uh, editing it. But, that's, that's the outlook, i tell you what, let's switch off this big light and then let's see what happens. If I can find the button there is. Mm, can't really see now. You can see when you're close. Let 
can see the see the shelter a little bit better. Oh, but they're in there asleep. Oh, look at that man. Absolutely pitch black. It's so quiet. Love it. Absolutely love it. Just sitting chilling. I've got one ball left on this battery, and then this camera's out of action. As like I said before, I've lost the. Um, I've lost the lead. So what I'll do is I'll switch off now. That'll be me for the night. I'm going to finish off my can, brush my teeth, and then I'm going to hit the sack. Get a nice, get a, try and get a nice sleep. Get the dog sorted out and that. Make sure they're all snug as a bug. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for joining.